everybody, Jared Tate here, the founder of the Digibuy blockchain. Today I'm coming to you with a quick video on how you can use artificial intelligence to understand and explain to you what complex code is. And you don't have to be a developer, you don't have to be a coder, you don't have to have any experience to use AI and open AI to basically to summarize and explain any kind of code for you. So how does this work? Well, first thing you need to do is go to openai.com. For those of you who don't know, OpenAI is this platform that's using artificial intelligence that just released something known as ChatGPT, which I'm sure you probably heard of that's taken the world by storm. Well, there's a lot more to it than just simple chatting back and forth and forth and messaging. Uh, OpenAI has a very, very, very powerful code analysis feature that you can really leverage to do some cool stuff. So not only can it help you code, but more importantly, it can explain extremely complex code to you and you don't have to have any coding background whatsoever. So to give you an example, the first thing I want to do is I actually wanted to go to the playground. Now, the reason I go to the playground is it's got a lot more features and it allows a lot more customization. Uh, stuff I'll talk about in another video, but I want to keep this video short and sweet. So as an example of some very complex code, I'm actually going to use the Digibyte core blockchain protocol. Now, Digibyte is an open source decentralized blockchain that was launched in January 10th of 2014, and it was originally forked from Bitcoin. So it shares a lot of the same source code and features as Bitcoin. So this demonstration is also applicable to Bitcoin. Now, I would argue, after almost a decade of working with this code base, that the core UTXO Bitcoin source code, which is what Digibyte's based on, is probably the most complex open source code on the internet today. Um, it, it's extremely complex, there's tons of files, and it can be very, very daunting and challenging for somebody who has never looked at it before. So, is, let's say you're somebody who has no idea what's happening in this code, well, let's just dive on in. So if you go to GitHub, you go to our main feature.8.22 branch, which is what we're working on. You go to the SRC folder, which is the source folder. It's kind of the heart and soul of uh, either Bitcoin or Digibyte. Let's just randomly scroll down here and choose a file and figure out what the code is doing. So the first thing, let's let's take this thing called Dandelion. I'm like Dandelion, what's that? Is, that? is that like a flower? Well, let's look for a description in the code. Um, well, I'm not really seeing any comments and, you know, I can tell you, even as somebody who has, you know, started learning C++ code 20 years ago, even though I, I know what I'm looking at to a degree because I've worked with it, it's still daunting when I first look at it again, because it's just, you know, it's, it's, it's literally a language, it's a foreign language. And so this can be quite intimidating to a lot of people. So all you have to do is simply copy paste this code. So I'm going to scroll up, I'm going to go command C on my Mac, I'm going to go over here to the playground and I'm just going to type, please explain this code to me and tell me what programming, if I can spell right here, it is written in, question mark. So I'll go enter, command V, paste the code, and I will go ahead and hit submit. And it says this snippet of code is written in C++. It is part of the Digibyte cryptocurrency and it is used to manage the Dandelion routing protocol. The code is responsible for managing the nodes involved in Dandelion, roto, blah, 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 and maintaining Routing data. Well, that's a pretty good initial explanation. Um, that is basically what it's doing, but let's see if we can give it a little bit more detail. So, um, so please tell me, or please explain this code to me and tell me what programming language it is written in and what it is is doing in further detail and what structural elements it has. 
question mark. So let's try this again. So one of the things after about a month of playing around with the uh, OpenAI Playground, the more specific and the more detail of questions that you give it, the better answer you're gonna get. And this is something they actually call prompt engineering. So in the future, instead of being developers, we're all gonna be prompt engineers for AI code. So uh, let's see here, it turns back the answer. This code is written in C++ programming language and is from the Digibyte cryptocurrency. It contains functions and variables related to Dandelion protocol which is a protocol for improved transaction privacy. Specifically, the code is related to network routing for dandelion transactions. The code contains several structural statements, including if statements, for loops, while loops, and functions. It is also using several C++ features, such as STL containers and classes. Additionally, the code is using the boost library. So that's actually a very good summary for somebody who has no idea what this is doing. And the cool part is, is you could actually use OpenAI to ask, what is a while loop? What is a function? What is a C++ STL container? And you can literally dive in and I believe use AI to teach yourself to code much quicker than any traditional um, path, which is very cool. So what if we don't wanna take a whole file and we wanna get a little bit more in depth? Well, let's come back here. Let's scroll down to validation dot cpp so validation dot cpp is one of the most advanced and complex chunks of code in the entire bitcoin or digibyte blockchain protocol so as you can see here there's over 5,000 lines of code which is very very daunting and intimidating i mean you could probably spend forever just trying to figure out what this is doing so let's just take a simple snippet or section of this code or what we like to call as a function and, uh, you know, let's see what it's doing. So, um, as an example, let's like, let's, let's go up here to, uh, we gotta, we gotta get this. How about check block, right? So 3165. So let's come up here to 3165. My camera's in the way, so I can't quite see my monitor. Um, and let's, uh, let's copy this entire section of code. And so we get a return true. So you go opening uh, bracket to closing bracket. So this entire function, this check block function, let's say we want to know a little bit more about it, but let's be a little bit more specific here. So what if I say, please explain this code to me and tell me what... Um, Oh, I'm sorry, hold on a second. Just got a message that popped up and it interrupted me. I always hate it when I'm doing videos and that happens. Um, so please explain to me what this code is doing, what kind of code it is, and what structural elements it has so i don't know why i always say please i guess i figure if i'm nice to the ai when it eventually takes over you know it won't destroy me and take me out i don't know i guess i just i feel like i need to be polite to the ai i notice some people in videos they just give it commanding statements so um so we'll go ahead and then we'll copy paste this code and you know as you can see this you know Fairly complex. It's hard to digest, especially for somebody who's never coded before or isn't familiar. Uh, so what does it say? This code is a C++ function that is checking a block for validity. Well, that's an important part of a blockchain. It is a part of the Bitcoin code base and is used to validate blocks in the Bitcoin network. It does a number of context-free checks on the blocks, such as checking the block header if it's valid, checking the Merkle root, and that there are no duplicate transactions. Uh, that the sizes are not exceeded, and that the signature operations do not exceed a certain cost. It also checks for the presence of a Coinbase, Coinbase transaction, and that there are no, that there's not multiple Coinbase transactions. This code contains a number of structural elements, including variables, data types, conditionals, loops, and function calls. That is a very, very good summary, especially for somebody who's like, okay, I don't know what the C++ code is doing, but it gives you an idea. I can tell you I have used this already 
many times when working with uh, blockchain code over the last month. It's been extremely helpful. Uh, so I would encourage you to go try that out. And you know, the beautiful thing that OpenAI and ChatGPT allows for is, especially with an open source cryptocurrency project, when you have to make sure that the developers aren't putting or doing something sneaky, this technology is really going to help put a lot more eyes on the code. So I would encourage you to do this. And also, it would be a great project just to get and, and utilize OpenAI to go through and document existing open source code like the Digibyte protocol or the Bitcoin protocol. So with that, stay tuned. Please subscribe to this video. I'm going to be putting out more content and I hope you have a great day. Cheers.